We are getting our new bridle on. On this episode, we're finishing up our to-do list. <laughs> Jeremiah is headed up the mast. Swing Look, around. Look, I just got a bird just shit on me. Ew. So now we're clipped in. And we're getting that water pump fixed up. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. We've been sailing the world Just and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us on our next adventure. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Getting ready to put the hailer up. Ooh, we're going to box. yeah, some electrical stuff. Um, we're going to put the bridle on, safety wire it. We are getting our new bridle on. This thing has a little bit of weight to it, but she's pretty. This stuff excites me because I'm the one usually handling the bridle situation. Oh, you got to drop the paddleboard in, huh? Mm -hmm. You'll fit right in. Yeah. There's this little dock next to us that rents paddle boards. A few of them have slammed right into Calypso. Who knows why? Let's get this new bridle on. Having the paddle board on board is really nice because we can just drop it in and do stuff like this rather than dropping the dinghy in, which is fine too if you didn't have one, but it makes it super easy. There's lots of little bugs all over the boat. No, because we're next to a marsh. Yeah. A while ago, when we were in the BVI, we put this little safety piece of Dyneema on here just because we've had some failures up here as far as like crap flying everywhere at times. Somewhere on here it chafes and um, if this line were to fail, this the whole sail will, is coming off. So just as a precautionary and you know just to hold it long enough, um, I should put something on here. But we put this little piece of Dyneema here tied right here. Brittany did it. How's it going? Oh, it'd be awesome if you went down. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for the video, honey. <laughs> Couple bowlins, and then if this were to fail, boom, it, it, this is taped, it, just holding it in place. It'd be uh, up for just a couple minutes while I can get it down instead of it just going loose. And that's the, that's the port side? Port side. All right. And then I got these little chafe things so I can put it right here because I don't want it chafing. Okay, so Let's just do the port first. Let me hook it up and see what we got. Looks like they made the bridle about a foot shorter than what it was before. I used this white board as a safety and the bridle would come around it. And that was like a safety knowing it wouldn't slip back under. Um, but since they made it a foot short, I won't be able to do that. Okay, you can pull it tight and see what you got up there. Okay. Is it doable? Yeah. Well, that's fine then. Yeah. It will stretch too. Yeah, maybe that's what happened. Maybe they assumed since the last one was so stretched out that um, yeah, make it shorter. Maybe. If it's if it's gonna stay where it is right now, that's great because I always had to pull it up to get it out of the water and it would just have growth in the water. Yeah. So. Good down there? Yeah, it looks nice. It's nice and pretty. I'll need the uh, pliers, the dikes, and the safety wire. I love when he asked me to go get his tools because he says he's very organized when it comes to his tools. I can never find the right tools. So I disagree. But pliers, dikes, and safety wire. Let's see if I got this. Okay. Pliers, dikes, safety wire. Hopefully it's not the needle nose pliers because I already couldn't find those today and I know what those ones look like. Did I get it right? Yeah. Okay, so... I did it. So glad that's done. Luckily the West Marine near this yard is one of the few that makes such items. Now, on to replacing the hailer. So I just got little fittings, a couple different sizes, some shrink heat wrap, shrink wrap. What happened to our old hailer? It got destroyed when we were in um, the Bahamas. Remember when we were 
like the sail went crazy and coming out of Georgetown. It was, like, it was like, well, she wanted to go up the mast. I'm up here to clip some wires. It's pretty crazy. It's a little windy. I don't know. Maybe I should have let him do this. Holy shit. You're fine. You're okay. fine. All right. Good job. Okay. Can I just drop it in the sand? No, hell no. It'll fall right off. I, you're going to drop it to me. We're by a big, huge, like, reef rocks. And I don't yeah. even know. The furler got stuck. That's what happened. The yeah. furler got stuck. Oh, I remember and, that um, day. Yes. Yeah, it smacked it and it was just hanging. Really, the only thing we do is I just talk dirty to Brittany on this thing. It's fun it's, though. Yeah, so it's entertaining. We ordered it. It's been in my freaking parts area. So I keep all my parts, so like my active parts in here, filters and stuff like that. It's getting a little bit messy, like over here. So I'm glad to get it out of there. Now we got the hailer going up. Thank goodness. It's been sitting yeah. on my counter. I'm happy to get it out of here. Yeah. It looks nice, pretty, and new. It does. Hopefully, this, you know, goes smoothly. I thought you weren't an electrician. Should you be doing this? This is easy. Like, this is like. I can't jack anything up on this. All right. So as long as this thing hooks up like it should, I'll just wire these up to the other ones with these little clips. I'll shrink them up so they're all sealed. We'll be good. All right. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just going to hoist your butt up. Yeah, you're going to have to hoist me up the mast. You're going to be able to do that? Of course. I got to get all that out too. So. Fun, fun. Continuing. You got everything you need? Yeah, I think so. I'll probably need something. This is what uh, Jason Pinko did. He was our rigger for the Lazy Gecko. Yeah. We did a whole video on it. Yeah, it was awesome. But just a little bit of tape around the halyard so then accidentally deploy. Another form of safety. I don't have much to tie on to. I'm not gonna, I'm not going very high. So I'll just hold on to stuff as I'm going up and then I'll flip in up here with my, my this harness right here. So I'm just gonna have the one how you're going up, um, but I'm only going to the first arch and I can hold on. If I were to, if this were to break between here and there, I can hold on. So. Are you just gonna hold on all night long? Yeah, I'll just hold on. <laughs> okay. And then wait, when dinner gets here, you send it up. You could swing Look, around I just got and... a bird just shot on me. Ew, on I'm arm. moving. Look at that, I hate you these need a birds. birds. Oh yeah, it's right above you. I know, it's like, don't come up here. <laughs> Uh, that's a moment this you don't usually catch on off. film. She is. She's going to be up there with you. Let's do it. All right. You ready? Yeah. Good? Going up the mast is a team effort. This can be dangerous, so forethought and planning is a must. We just take it slow and enjoy the process. One thing that makes it nice is an electric wench. I'm all right. You can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. The bitch just hold on in case something were to fail. Probably can put another safety on. You good? Yeah. A little more. Oops, sorry about that, everybody. All right, so now we're clipped in. And here's our issue. I just need to take this out, which is gonna be a Phillips, which I thought, uh, we'll see. It's pretty corroded on there. When you're doing this, I always use the slow setting with him. Um, we have fast and slow setting. Usually we'll have our headsets on, but they're the ones dead doesn't make me happy. Um, put three wraps around, I leave it locked, and I sit down and I have one hand on it in case it were to slip um, to catch him. And then I just stand here and wait. I'd normally be able to see him go, and if he was going higher, we would definitely take down our canopy. So I can't see him, but I can hear him. It's really calm, so it's quiet right now. Should be doing good, let's take a look at him. Sometimes Jeremiah will be up there for hours and hours. This, however, is just a simple task of removing the old mount, installing the new equipment, and wiring it up. Okay. Yes. Can you bring um, Phillips head screwdriver? It could be a little short one. There he goes, asking me for tools again. I always get so worried. I wonder where tools are. Go dry. There's towels down there. Uh -huh. yeah, I got 
got it. I got your screwdriver. We have a long string that he lowers to the deck for me to tie tools to. It had fallen, so I'm handing it back up to him. Then we'll be able to raise and lower tools easily. Jeremiah usually climbs up the mast steps. I don't usually, and I'm like, oh, it's so easy, I can do it. And um, yeah, it's not easy. This is a great way to pass tools back and forth while up the mast. He can also use the string to secure heavy tools while up there so they don't hit the deck or people if they fall. Okay, and then turn on hailer. It's a beautiful day out here in this anchorage area. Okay, you can turn it off, thank you. Just wrap the wiring up and we'll be one step closer to pushing off the dock tomorrow. Found a sweet little Volvo Penta shop, like a mom and pop shop. Really nice people. And they have they have parts, man. Bosbury Marine in Annapolis. Volvo Penta. It's the only place I found that like knows their crap. Has the parts that you need. We've been searching for a little bolt that's a part of our water pump housing. Jeremiah found one, plus a spare, and is about to reinstall the new part. So I'm just gonna put the cam right back in the same spot. There's a little, there's already a little gasket on the other side. Just thread that in real nice. Just like that. Yeah, as you do this, you just want to twist, and this engine's clockwise until you get to the point where it slides on. It's good. The color's just going to spin like this. It's going to pull water through. Now I just need to make sure there's no residual from the gasket, the previous gasket, which is not. I'm going to put a new gasket on here. I try to line the holes up before you deal with putting it on. I just put like one up top, one on the bottom. It will keep the gasket straight. And just kind of hand thread, couple get a couple turns on it. You don't want to tighten them down all the way until uh, you get them all in. That way you can move the little plate around as you need. And once you get them all, I just like to take them all down, hand tighten them, make it easy. And I don't know, I don't know what the book calls for, but I like to do it in a pattern so it it tightens down equally around all the edges. Basically, you don't want to take one all the way down tight before the other ones are there. Jeremiah recommends doing a pattern on anything like this, kind of like a drum head. Doing so will ensure you get an even seal. I just open the through hole. Look for any leaks that might appear. And the next step is to run it. Time to get our girl washed up. What a great pit stop here in Annapolis, Maryland. We pulled together as a family and washed down the boat. Daddy usually does this because I take care of the inside, but yeah. Reese finds it very fun to wash the boat. Did yeah. you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to do it as when the sun goes down because it gets toasty. But now we still have time for sundowners. Even though we're usually running around, repairing items, searching for parts, working on videos, or whatever else, we try to stop around sunset each day and relax as a family. The amount of tasks you have aboard a traveling sailboat can get overwhelming and easily suck you in. If you don't take moments to enjoy like this, then what's the point? Oh. 
coming up on The Lazy Geckos. <laughs> well, today's the big day. I'm excited to get to the boat today and move on. Wild with New Jersey Boardwalk. I have an hour left on my watch. I'm passing by Calypso, North Carolina. I know it's bad because you have your friend emailing you. Are you guys okay? Here we go. Good luck on your first cruising adventure. Ha, thank you. Here we go. Got an Uber to get some groceries and we saw this cute little bar to stop at. You're doing a great job there, honey. Thank you. Here's your coffee. Thank you, baby. You ready for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're passing Billy Joel's estate. If it lets loose, it's gonna probably plummet into our boat. They were under the bow already. Chef antenna firmly mounted. It's all burned up in here. I guess we won't be leaving early without a radar. The problem is everything's so small I can't freaking breathe it. I can't even really see the top at all. Oh, oh you're right God. in front of us, it's gone. I found something piece of ice cream. Don't take me back! You can't take me back! I'm gonna turn north and probably put out a, the head sail. It's nice and smooth. Our radar's been giving us trouble. Time with it. Uh, put, your butt, put it right under your butt. Yucky day to come back into New York. What do you think? About what? About you under some naked shots? Lovely. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.